an interesting company called Black Buck, which is actually India's largest online trucking platform. Now, of course, one of the first few victims of the entire lockdown that has been in place for the last couple of weeks has been the logistics industry, apart from, of course, the Asian to supply gone up as companies as well have had to stop production because they are unable to receive raw materials. So, we've got Black Buck with us. Interestingly, they've also announced a slew of measures to, catal uh, sort of to catalyze the freight movement and bring the logistics industry out of its current state of limbo. I have with me today Rajesh Yabaji, co-founder and CEO of Black Buck, joining in on the show. Hi Rajesh, many thanks for joining us. To start off with, um, give our viewers a bit of an introduction about Black Buck. What uh, makes it the part? What exactly does it do? You say you're an online tracking platform. And also, of course, if you could tell us what are the measures you've taken to sort of revive the trucking industry. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Madina, for uh, having me on here. Uh, so, uh, probably, you know, a couple of seconds on what Blackbook is. Um, we are a, a marketplace for trucking. We basically help the small fleet owners in the country who basically are based out of all, all these villages. So, we have about close to two and a half million users on the truck, truck owner's side. And uh, for them, we bring about various services. Freight is our mainstream service. We help them get loads at the best price all over the country. We help them do fueling on the platform. We help them do tolling on the platform. They can buy tires. They can buy lubricants. So that's the marketplace. Uh, first, the fleet owners. Uh, enabling fleet owners essentially being able to make higher earnings, uh, do their operations as easily as possible. So I think that's like the core context of Blackbuck. Uh, we've been around for five years, and uh, and yes, and I think uh, we are trying to like we are we are sort of in the process of being uh, with every fleet owner in the country at this point in time. So, uh, Madina, as you asked, what is that we are essentially doing right now in the context of this COVID crisis? As you know, uh, you know, transportation at large, right, be it transportation of people, be it travel and hospitality, be it trucking, these are the sectors which have got deeply impacted in the context of COVID. The transportation activity in India dropped to more like 2 to 5 percent of the regular uh, transportation activity. And uh, which happened for uh, Blackbird as a platform as well. And uh, as we saw over the last three to four weeks, this activity is actually slowly opening up. Right. So today, based on our estimate, broadly India is back to business in logistics at about 35, 40 percentage levels as we speak today. Now, uh, you know, the biggest problem uh, why, like, why during the lockdown, why we are all practicing intense social distancing, is that like. Factories are shut. There is no economic activity, right? So truckers don't have jobs so that they can move on the road, right? That's like, I think, a big problem, problem A. Now, given there are no jobs, truckers are off-roads, so which has also led to availability of trucks problem for the people who want to ship goods, right? So uh, I think that's like the big vicious cycle which we need to break because if there are no goods, there are no truckers, and truckers want to be on the road, but there are no goods. So this vicious cycle we need to break. Second point, big area is that Drivers are actually afraid to get back on the roads and drive. They are more afraid about their life at this point in time than probably earning, you know, some income, which let's say they could probably do something else rather than drive a truck on the intercity roads, right? So these are the two big problems which the economy faces today. And I think we all know that for the economy to revive, trucking and logistics need to revive first because if unless goods are shipped, nothing will move. Economy will not progress. So what we are doing is that, as, as you know, we've launched a campaign, India White called as Move India, and we want to support the catalysis of this entire process, right? How do we fast track bringing trucks back on the roads? That this is, the campaign is all about this. Here, uh, we are basically targeting like two big areas. One is that how do you enable more liquidity in the marketplace? So what we are saying is that, like any transportation company in the country or any shipper in the country who wants to essentially, let's say, get a truck, who's having a problem to get a truck, because today, if you know, the freight prices have gone berserk in the country. So the, the ability to solve for a cheap transportation is not there, right, for them. 
and for the fleet owners across the country we are saying that the service as blackbird which we used to offer we are actually made that service free it was chargeable with a 10 15% commission we have just gone out of this particular transaction and said that now people can easily meet online on the blackbird platform that's like initiative one which helps at least the cost of transportation be at least 2000 to 3000 rupees cheaper on a trip basis right that's like our first area of the entire campaign on go india second aspect right which i was articulating is the drivers right which are the essential building blocks of this economy these are the guys if they don't turn back into work india cannot move stuff right so what so there to be able to get these guys back in action right we've launched like two different sort of set of activities one is that guys who use the platform like let's say for them any driver who uses the platform gets access to three broad key specific benefits in the context of covid he gets a no questions asked 15 to 50000 rupees direct benefit transfer right from the blackbird side second is area is that he has access to 50000 rupees worth of hospitalization expense the third is a term cover of 3 lakhs right so anybody who's taking a trip who's taking a ride on the blackbird platform has access to this Second area is that going beyond the Blackbird platform, we have opened up our platform. We said that 10,000 drivers in the country will cover them on the COVID direct cash benefit transfer of 50,000 rupees, right? So that's a that's a commitment to the industry, sort of at large, right? That's one large area. The other area is that taking care of some relief activities. We are covering close to about 2,000 families who are the neediest of the needy, where we are giving them cash so that they can take care. of the food for the family for a period of a month right so that's like you know the entire broad uh, explanation of what move india campaign is it's directly addressed at how can we get india back in motion with the lockdown opening up on may 3rd we believe that this particular entire package will help more drivers come on the roads more fleet owners get access to cheaper way of getting to a load more shippers being able to find trucks very easily that's like the sum